apostolic ministry had come to town. And, and so we, we thank the Lord for that. Um, you know, he sends us where he wants us to go and we do what he tells us to do. And then he receives the glory and the credit uh, for everything that happens. Well, I don't know about you, but I want um, the walls to be broken down in my life. If there is any walls there, I want them to come tumbling down. And I'm going to sing a little chorus. You know that I love to sing. Uh, and, and if you know this little chorus, sing it with me. Uh, we used to sing it to the children all the time uh, as we uh, had puppet shows in the park and, and went to different places to have children uh, services. But it goes like this. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho. Jericho, Jericho, Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, and the walls came tumbling down. That's just part of it, but that's, we used to sing that, and the children loved it, and they, they, you know, they loved it when those walls came tumbling down, and, and that's what this message is all about tonight, and, you know, I thought about, well, Lord, um, where do I start uh, with this? And he said, go to Joshua chapter one, because these two words are going to be very important to you as you think about this message and as you think about bringing down the walls. We're going to talk about those walls in just a moment. But in Joshua chapter one, verse six, it says, this is God speaking to Joshua, be strong and of good courage. Those are the... Strength and courage are the two words that I want you to remember. If you're writing things down, be strong and of good courage. For unto this people shall I divide for an inheritance the land, which I swore unto your fathers to give unto them. So here God is saying, if you will only be strong and very courageous, then you will inherit what I have given you. Hallelujah. So remember those two words, strength and courage. He says it again in verse seven, only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all that's in the law, which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right or to the left. You know, sometimes the enemy wants to detour us. He wants us to... Uh, get off track and off the pathway that really leads to victory. He wants us to turn to the left or turn to the right and look at what he's doing. The enemy loves to show you what he's doing. And, but we need to remember to be strong and very courageous and to look at what God is doing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I know that's a word to me right now. I'm to look at what God is showing me. Hallelujah. And then he says here, turn not to the left or to the right, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever you go, wherever you go. Uh, Lucy, are y'all going back to, are you going back to Washington, D.C.? Yeah, in April 9th. April 9th, okay. Well, we've already been praying for you concerning that. And I believe that God is going ahead of you and that if you will not look to the left or to the right, but if you will keep your eyes on what God is, is doing, then you will prosper. That's where it's, what it says here. And thank you very much. And verse eight, the book of the, this book of the law, the, the word of God, not, not another book, not what somebody has told you, not what some pastor has told you, but the word of God. Hallelujah. It says, if this book shall not depart out of your mouth, out of your mouth, the word needs to be in your mouth. Hallelujah. But thou shalt meditate on it day and night, and thou mayest observe to do what's in it. Hallelujah. For then thou shalt make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Hallelujah. So all of this was a platform that God was putting forth for Joshua to stand on. 
See, God does not give us, we do not stand on sinking sand. We stand on the rock. God does not give us a sinkhole, but he gives us something that's sturdy, something that will not fail us. That's the word of God. We can always go to the word and receive strength and receive courage. Hallelujah. So he was, he was um, building a platform for Joshua before he sends him into the land. Hallelujah. And then they go into the land. To what? To possess it. To take, take it over. And even though there were giants in the land, there were armies in the land, there were people that were evil in the land. What are the two words that I told you to remember? Somebody tell me those two words. Strength and courage. Strength and courage. Amen. I want you to remember those things. Now, there were walls. There were walls everywhere. But if we turn over to chapter 6, of Joshua, it says that Jericho, in verse 1, Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. There were these huge walls, a fortress around Jericho. And in verse 2, the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into your hand Jericho. I have given you Jericho. That's what God said. And God cannot lie. If God tells you you're healed, you're healed. Hallelujah. If God says you're prospering, you're, you're, and God says, I'm going to pay your insurance bill, and I'm going to pay your car payment, and I'm going to pay your house payment, and I'm going to bring your family into salvation, well, praise God. Hallelujah. It will happen. Amen. It will happen because God cannot lie. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it says, um, and the Lord said unto Joshua, see, I've given unto you Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men. I've given you everything. I've given you Jericho and all of its inhabitants and the king of Jericho. They're all yours. Okay, I'm going to stop right there because we're going to talk about the plan in just a few moments. But let's talk about some walls. You know, I don't know what kind of wall you may have around you or in your life. You may have none. But I know that I deal with some issues and I want those walls to come tumbling down tonight. Yes, amen. Yes, and what some of the walls that he spoke to me about were the wall of fear, being afraid to move forward, being afraid to do what God has called you to do, uh, being afraid to speak out the word of God. Um, and, and so there's fear of the unknown. There's fear of, of those enemy forces that may, may surround you. And so that's a wall. Okay, doubt is another wall. Anxiety and worry are, are two more walls. They actually go together. They, they, they bind together. But, but let me say this, that these walls are going to come tumbling down tonight in the name of Jesus. It might be a wall of sickness or infirmity. What's the difference between a sickness and an infirmity? I'm going to share with you right now. A sickness is, both of them are evil forces. Both of them are spirits of evil. But a sickness invades the body and causes uh, symptoms to occur and um, a feeling of helplessness to occur. Uh, but a spirit of infirmity is something that a person accepts. Oh, well, grandma had that or aunt, aunt so-and-so had, had uh, um, 
that situation. She had diabetes and and so it's in my family. And and that is that's a spirit of infirmity. Uh that, you know, remember that woman that was bent over for 38 years, I believe it was, and and she couldn't rise up and she couldn't lift herself up and and Jesus said, you know, this is a spirit of infirmity. It's something that she accepted that it was okay to be there. And, and he, he called it out. He said, spirit of infirmity, uh, come out. And woman, you are loosed from the spirit of Hallelujah. infirmity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it might be sickness. It might be a infirmity. It might be anger. Uh, you know, I think about the uh, individuals that uh, that have issues with with anger and uh, rage, um, with um, just a uh, un ungodly type of uh, of behavior, uh, the cussing and the and and. It all, it all is a wall that's put there to keep that individual from moving forward into what God wants them to do. And, you know, if there is a, a spirit of fear, then that blocks the faith uh, that you need to move forward. Uh, another word that came to me this afternoon, and I wrote it down, and that was a wall of hostility that some of you may have individuals that are around you that have hostile attitudes. And in that, in that type of attitude, it's very difficult to grow in the Lord. And it's very difficult uh, to, to do his will when there's a, that, that wall of hostility uh, that, that could be around a person. And so... We're, we're going to talk about how do you bring these down in just a few moments. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And um, as, we, as we think about the plan, let's go back to uh, Joshua uh, chapter 3. No, I think I want to go to Joshua Back to Joshua 1. Let's go back to Joshua 1. There are four things in this plan that I would like for you to remember. Okay, you still remember the two words he gave to Joshua, strength and courage. But here is the plan. He, he gave Joshua a plan for victory. And he will give you one. If you need one, if you're moving into something new, if you're making a decision about something, then God will give you a plan. All you have to do is ask him and he will give you a plan. And number one on the list with the plan is to hear from God. Hear what he has to say to you. Now he speaks to you through the word of God. He speaks to you through other people. He speaks to you even through children. Uh, he speaks to you uh, in your, in your, that small, still small voice in your spirit, man, of where you just know that this is what you're supposed to be doing, but hear from the Lord. That's number one. We all need to hear from the Lord. And that's one thing that we, we teach in the schools that we, that we teach, uh, internationally. That was one of the first things we, we begin to teach is how do you hear from the spirit of the Lord. Because once you hear from God, he will do it. Just like he did it for Joshua uh, with, with Jericho. He will do it for you. He will bring your family into salvation. He will heal your body. He will make your mind clear and give you a sound mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, when Brother Fred and I take communion uh, each day, one of the things that we pray over is our minds, that we will have the mind of Christ and that we will have a sound mind, that we will think properly, that we will do what God uh, wants us to do and that, that we will have a sound mind. Hallelujah. 
And so, because we have to believe for that. You, we have to believe for everything, Amen. everything. Good, good. We have to believe for prosperity. We have to believe for healing. We have to believe for direction. We have to believe for our families to be brought out of, of evil or destruction. Hallelujah. We have to believe. Whatever is not of faith is sin. Is sin. Hallelujah. Thank you. So number one in the plan is to hear the voice of the Lord. Okay. Number two is obedience. We have to set our heart and say, Lord, I'm going to obey. Yes, amen. If you tell me to pray, I'm going to pray. If you tell me to give, I'm going to give. Hallelujah. If you tell me to, uh, to go and speak to a neighbor or go and speak to a co-worker, I'm going to do it. Hallelujah. So number one is to hear the voice of the Lord. Number two is to obey what he has told you to do. And number three is to put your faith in the word of God. Hallelujah. Not in what you see, not in temporary things. See everything that you that you see, your your clothing, your uh, your beautiful yard, your flowers, uh, everything. Um, oh, and I'm missing um, I'm missing Jen tonight. Ooh, let's just pray for her right now, Father. We just lift up Jen uh, to you, and we thank you. Uh, for healing her body. We thank you for whatever uh, reason she's not with us tonight, Lord, that you will be with her, that you will strengthen her, that you will bring her hope, uh, that you will bring her healing, that you will bring her prosperity uh, in Jesus' yes, name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So one is to hear from the Lord and Joshua did. Number two, is to obey what he tells you to do. Number three is to have faith in the word of God. Hallelujah. We don't have faith in people. We have faith in the Lord. I mean, I, I love this man more than I can tell you. More than I can even ask or think. I love this man. But God's word comes before this man. Amen. Hallelujah. And number four, I only have four points right there as far as bringing down the walls. And that is to move into action. Move into action. Don't just sit there. If you've heard from the Lord, and yes, you have a heart that's full of obedience and you're, you have faith in the word of God. But if you do nothing, nothing will happen. You see, Joshua had to do what God told him to do. We're going to go back and we're going to read what he told him to do. And I know you know the story. But he had to go into action. He had to put into action the words that God had spoken to him. Did you know that when you do that, you're saying, hey, Lord, I believe. I believe, therefore, I'm going to act. Amen. I believe that I'm healed, and so I'm going to act on that. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe that my family are saved, so I'm going to act on that. Right. Hallelujah. We just had a family come to us in and, and, and tears and crying and wanting prayer about one of their children um, has just uh, told them that that she's a homosexual and it has broken their hearts and, and they, they don't know what to do. And we prayed with them. And one of the things the Lord said was to keep on loving her as the Lord sees her. The Lord sees her as saved and delivered and see, that's what we did with Jason. It was not easy. It was a challenge because he was in some evil things. That's our oldest son. But the Lord said, love him. The Lord says, see him as I see him, saved and delivered and serving me. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And for years, we did that. For almost 30 years, we did that. We saw him as God saw him. When he was five years old, he walked into the room and the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, he is one of my end time prophets. I'll never let go of that. I will not let go of that. Hallelujah. And he, he knows things and he sees things. He's a visionary. And in and, and praise the name of Jesus, we have to, we have to believe. And when we believe, we see as God sees. You can write that down. Do you want to know if you're believing or not? Do you see things as God sees them? Good, good. Believe. He says, only believe. He says, all things are possible to those who what? Believe. Believe. And Joshua believed. God said in chapter one, I've given you the land. I've given you Jericho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he believed that. He heard the Lord. He obeyed the Lord. He had faith in the Lord. Praise God. And then he moved into action. Amen. So let's, let's read about what God told them to do. And this sounds strange. You know, God's going to tell you some strange things to do. Right. They, they're strange to the, to the natural mind. And if you have a carnal mind, you need to reset. We talked about that today, didn't we? It was good, wasn't it? <laughs> we need to reset our mindset. We need, to, we need to reset it. Hallelujah. You know how you have to reset your computers or reset something that you're working on? Uh, well, sometimes you have to reset your mind. And so, praise the name of Jesus. Let's read. It's so interesting to me what God told them to do. Hallelujah. And he says, you're going to encircle. You're going to go around the city. You're going to go around the city. I'm in chapter six of Joshua. This is what he said in verse three of six. All ye that shall compass the city. You're going to be all around the city. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. All of your men of war. Hallelujah. And I believe there's neither male. Well, the word of God says this. There's neither male nor female in Christ Jesus. Amen. That means that every one of us are warriors. Praise the name of Jesus. I want you to go around the city once. And then go around the city for six days. And seven priests shall bear before the ark. Now, that's very important right there. The ark went before them. And what was the ark? It represents the word of God. We do not step ahead of the word of God. And sometimes the carnal mind wants to say, oh, do it now, do it now, do it now. You know what to do. You can do it. Just do it now. Do not get ahead of the word of God. Well, and also the presence of God. It also represented. It also represented the presence, presence of God. God. Amen. It says, and the seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of the ram's horn. And the seventh day, you shall compass the city seven times. And then the priests shall blow with their trumpets. Hallelujah. There's going to be a sound made. Praise the name of Jesus. And the Lord has told me what that sound does. Woo. Hallelujah. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, woo, all the people shall shout. Woo! All the people shall shout with a great shout. Yes, hallelujah. You know, I've heard people say, oh, you don't need to be so loud. You don't need to, you're, you're so loud. <laughs> well, this is, 
that I can shout with a loud shout right here. Joshua chapter six, with a great shout and the wall of the city shall fall down flat and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's exactly what they did. They obeyed. They heard the Lord. Yes, Lord. They obeyed the yes, Lord. Lord. And that that seventh day, seventh is a is a the a symbol that represents completion. God is saying this is completed. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And okay. you're ready to shout. Shout the victory. Hallelujah. Shout unto the Lord, all ye nations. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. <laughs> now, what he told me about the shout. When you shout, when you shout in your house, when you go out on your front porch and you shout, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I dare you to go on, on your front porch and shout to the Lord and say, this is a day of victory for me. Hallelujah. hallelujah. This is the day of victory for my family. This is the day of victory for baby Luke. This is the day of victory for all of my, my, my family. Hallelujah. Jesus name. He told me that the shout initiates an explosion of God's power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what you're doing. Hallelujah. You're saying, I'm sending that explosion Hallelujah. and I'm pushing the button. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that bomb is going to go off <laughs> and the enemy is going to know that he cannot fool around or mess around with me or with my, my family or with my work situation or with my finances uh, or with my, my body. He cannot on my mind. Hallelujah. Shout to the Lord. All ye people. Shout unto the Lord. It's an explosion. It causes an explosion a bomb to go off, yes, you know, and then he gave me a scripture because, you know, when the Lord speaks to me, I like to, to confirm it with the word of God. And the scripture that he gave me was that his word is a hammer and a fire. His word is a hammer and a fire. And so when you shout, hallelujah, then that causes an explosion. Uh, that yeah. causes the hammer to come down. Come it causes the, the fire to start. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but every pain in my body has to go Hallelujah. right now in the Amen. name of Jesus. Ah! I'm causing an explosion to come into my body. Hallelujah. Every muscle. Uh, has to be healed and whole in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord forever. Headaches have to go. Neck pain has to go. Back pain has to go. Yes, amen. Hips amen. have to line up in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. God is, is putting your frame back together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and Mary, what, what happened when you were playing pickleball? Hallelujah. I, I know you, you're you're having therapy, uh, but let me tell you something. What I see right now is God is exploding in your body. He is exploding all over you and causing that pain to go away, discomfort to go away, and for your body to be put back together. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. I don't know if you're excited, but I'm excited. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that we can see the walls come tumbling down. Amen. If you're worried about something, then shout it away. Hallelujah. Just shout it. Say, I'm shouting, Lord. I'm shouting, and I want an explosion to destroy that anxiety, that worry, that, that unbelief, that fear, uh, that hostility, whatever it might be. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Josh fought the battle of Jericho. 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 Joshua fought the battle of Jericho. 
and the walls came tumbling down. Praise the name of Jesus. What were the two words that God told Joshua? Strength and courage. Have strength and courage. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's what I'm saying to you tonight. I'm saying have strength and courage and shout to the Lord and those walls will come tumbling down. Amen. Hallelujah. If Amen. you, you know, the more you think about the problem, the bigger it gets. If you think about a problem, it starts. To, <laughs> it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But when you start speaking the word to it, it starts shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking, and shrinking until Woo! It's gone. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening tonight. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to open up the floor. Tell, tell them about the uh, young man that uh, you reset his shoulder. Oh, <laughs> we were talking about resetting. Uh, on the ranch, there was a young man on Friday morning, and he came up and he said that he had pulled his shoulder he had been over or something and pulled his shoulder it had, um, it had rotated yeah it had forward. rotated forward and he was in a lot of pain a lot of discomfort and and so you know i didn't i didn't even catch hold of it with my natural mind all of a sudden i knew that i was to hit him in the shoulder where it hurt where it hurt and so i just Got my fist balled up, and I didn't even ask him if I could do it. And all of a sudden, I just I hit him on that shoulder hard, hard, and and he kind of stepped back a little bit. And then I saw that it wasn't completely uh, finished, and so I hit him again. I hit him again, and that shoulder went back into place. And he said, oh, I do not have any pain. He said, I have no more pain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said that I, he had had pain uh, so that he couldn't even sleep at night. And, and so God did that. Yes, amen. God reset his shoulder. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. So that's what took off the conversation about resetting our minds. Uh, so that we're we're thinking like God and not thinking like a normal person. How many of you know that you're not normal? Does that surprise some of you? <laughs> <laughs> you are not a normal person, George. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are you are God's child. That makes you peculiar. I'm in the book. <laughs> Hallelujah. You're a royal priesthood. You're a peculiar nation. Hallelujah. So we're strange. Especially Sherry. Especially me. Hallelujah. That's okay. That's okay. Hallelujah. You know, I want to see people saved and delivered and set free and, and, and free from the enemy. And I want those walls down. I want those walls to come down yeah. in the name of Jesus. And how do we bring them down? We bring them down with an explosion. Hallelujah. We shout them down. Shout Hallelujah. Them down. Shout them down. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I'm going to open up the floor for comments about this message tonight and how it has affected you. And, and then uh, also, uh, there's two people that... Uh, um, I didn't realize that you you had something to share last week or week before last, excuse me. Um, and that was Jenny and I think George had something to share. And so after we have these comments, then then we'll we'll allow you to 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 share about your homework uh, that you had something to to share there. Oh. And um, and so now before. Before we go away from this, and I turn it over uh, to to each one of you to, to comment, uh, your homework assignment is to pick a wall in your life and to, to receive a scripture about shouting it down. Pick one wall in your life.
that you want to see come down and and ask the Lord for a scripture to shout uh, and and believe him for that wall to come down. Hallelujah. Only one, one wall. Hallelujah. Because we will uh, be joyful to, to be with you uh, next Tuesday night. Hallelujah. So who has something to say about this message tonight? I want to shout more. <laughs> you want to shout more? Amen. Yes. By faith. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. And you can do it, Joy. You can do it. Hallelujah. What else have you have you learned tonight? Can I Ellie? say something? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. When um I heard says uh if you I heard uh, uh you teaching like uh, if you look at the problem the problem will get bigger and bigger. Yeah, um, I actually experienced this. Um, one of them, uh, uh, my children, uh, she has a panic attack. So when this happens, uh, I gradually learned that when this happened, I just uh, try to uh, leave it all alone. So what I do is not focus, are you okay? And what can I do for you? Something like that. So yes. we just uh, try to stay calm and then not uh, bring more, you know, um, just don't look at <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's a simple, if I say mm -hmm. simply, yeah. Um, so this reminds me think about uh, uh, this actually some tips I learned how to take care of them. But it also reminded me like, uh, uh, I didn't do much like that uh, in, the spiritual, in the spiritual way. So mm -hmm. I should, uh, yeah, I Amen. should do it like that. So uh, all kinds of a problem, uh, a lot of a problem in recent years, really, really a lot. But uh, I need a practice to don't look them. <laughs> Yeah, Instead right. of to look God more. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Someone else share with us. Jenny. Jenny? Uh, uh, hear the word from God and uh, obey what uh, God tells you. Yes. Amen. Yes. And, uh, take action. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Good. And then we'll see what God sees. So. Oh, amen. See what God sees. Amen. 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 That, that's excellent. That's excellent. Hallelujah. Do you have something else? Jenny? Uh -huh. Did you have something else? No? Okay. Thank you. All right. Who else has something? They want to share. Yeah, yeah, and see what God sees. Like uh, Sister Sherry talk about Jason. I think it takes a lot of um, faith and patience and 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 love to and and trust God. When you know we don't see our our friend our children sometimes we're overwhelmed when we try to help people and it seems that things didn't change right the situation sometimes we get frustrated with ourselves our children or our friends but we need to see what god sees so that we just declare what it you know we, we just have to declare that you know what, what god see us you know we are we are healed we are complete we are we are joyful <laughs> we declare they're cheerful and joyful and if they're anxious we declare the peace we have to yeah. to um battle to not to yield to the enemy's um, lies that okay we focus on the situation so much and we felt frustrated and helpless and that's the enemy's strategy to i think keep the family down i think amen right. amen that's right. amen that's that's excellent 
Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Someone else, do you have something you want to, to share? Lucy? Is this working? Yes, it is. Okay. We can hear you. Thanks. Oh, thanks for the message. The, I think with the walls, sometimes the walls that we built for ourselves that we hide behind, it becomes our comfort zone, but it keeps us from moving forward with God. Amen. I think that's what holds us back a lot of the time. And so it's really important to remember. But sometimes I also find it kind of scary when I'm like going forward into the unknown. Um, but you reminded me tonight that my trust should be in God and not what I have around me, like my husband or anything like that. Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah, excellent. Amen. Excellent. Amen. Excellent. Because, because God is with you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Does someone else have something they want to, to share with us tonight? Okay, let me uh, uh, allow Jenny, if she will. Uh, Jenny, you had something to share the last time we were together. Uh, do, you, do you still have that? The homework. Yes, the homework. I can give a verse to encourage someone. You didn't get a chance to share. Okay. Oh, she said she forgot. <laughs> okay, well, okay. I, 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 I certainly didn't realize that you had something. So, uh, so just remind me, you know, just to, uh, just say, you know, I have something to share. Yeah, okay. I didn't share last time. Um, okay, all right, Mary. Yeah, uh, I like uh, first uh, Corinthians chapter 13 uh, about, lo about love. Yes, uh, yes. You know, it's a paragraph. Love is patient. Love is kind. Yes. That paragraph. I love Amen. this uh, a lot. Yes. Uh, when, my son, when my son got married, I, you know, I wrote this paragraph on a card and I gave it to him. Uh -huh. And I always I always uh, think about this, and uh, sometimes I have fight with my husband. I just think about this and uh, and read this to him. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, Mary. Good for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, I had a minister uh, tell me because I love that that paragraph as well. And I had a minister tell me that I needed to put my name in there uh, when I read read it out loud. He said, read it out loud to yourself and put your name in there. And so where it says, love is patient. He said, you put Sherry is patient. Sherry is kind. And, and, and he said, I want you to read that 21 days out loud to yourself. And he said, it will go into your heart. It will go into your spirit that that that's that's who you are and uh and we know that god is love but god is in us hallelujah so i love that mary i love that that paragraph yeah me too i i declare for my family this week using my family put it in the love because it's your homework two years <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's really good that's yeah, really good i think i think not even one person can do all of this on earth nobody can do it <laughs> it's hard well it's it's skills we have to work on yeah thank you so much mary all right george do you have a scripture that you would encourage somebody with Oh, you mean the uh, last week? Yeah. Last week, the homework. Uh -huh. home yes, the, the homework I from forgot. two weeks ago. I, I think I have to keep a Bible with me. I usually like uh, learn by heart. 
and in the high five. Okay, okay. I like to talk uh, a little bit about something else. Uh, just now, Sister Sherry uh, uh, and Dr. White give a uh, testimony about the like, healing. And I remember Dr. White uh, once uh, uh, told us for the heritage uh, you chased up to uh, Kenahagen, right? Yes, Kenahagen. yes. I remember that more than 20 years ago, actually before I became a student, uh, of uh, uh, Dr. White students. I, I once walked in a restaurant for just about one week. I ended it turned out to be, a, I was not good at it, but they added the restaurant, at the, uh, added the room a little bit the time to rest. I read this, uh, I read the little pamphlet. Ah. And as I think I still remember some part of it. Can I hack Yes. Yes. Seriously ill, almost uh, it's, it's, it's dying when he was 12 years old. Yes. That's right. And uh, uh, many, many doctors, uh, visited many, many doctors. And one day he read the Bible and read the work our Lord Jesus Christ uh, said. In everything, if you pray for it, and yes. you believe in your heart. Yes. You have already received it. Yes. I knew. Oh, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> should keep uh, keep uh, in mind uh, uh, to note mm -hmm. one is believe you uh, pray for it and believe you have already you shall received it. it. Have. have received it. I mean. Give yeah. Be yours. Be yours. Give it to you. Hallelujah. Why is it? Yeah. You all believe I already received it. Just yeah. as the uh uh the the the, the centurion, right? It's yeah. good. I mean the belief. Such a uh, our Lord Jesus Christ yeah. I even said that I even have not seen such a strong faith in Israel. So healing, I uh, say, uh, God give uh, Sister Sherry, Dr. White, uh, the healing, I mean, the gift. But yeah. still, the people receiving the healing still need, need um, a face. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, that, I mean uh, good. That, uh, I remember, yeah, it's a little pamphlet that I read it. Uh, I like I said, quickly read it and uh, more than 20 years ago. Yeah. I know, we've read it too. We That's read it. Excellent. Excellent. Sorry. Excellent. Excellent. Well, that, that's encouraging. That's an encouraging word that you just spoke. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love each one of you. God bless you. May Thank he you. prosper you in your spirit, in your soul, in your mind, in your body. Uh, in the name of Jesus. And as you go forward, that you will bring down any walls that the enemy tries to put up uh, in Jesus' name. We love you. Yes. See you next week. Yes. Can I call you when we finish just a brief advice about is it okay if I call you just for sure, some? sure, sure. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.